All right, I got some breaking news to share today. The military tribunals have already begun. It's time to clean house. So, after this short comic relief from the Three Stooges, I'm going to get right into it and tell you about how the military tribunals have already begun and what's going to happen in the future. Short wave, take it down, quick. What's it say? <laughs> ah, shut up. What'd that mean? <laughs> you too? Alright, let's get on with it. Military tribunals have begun. I got this from a source on the internet, and I'm going to share it with you. It's from the Gumshoe News. Uh, we heard the reports that Senator John McCain was executed by military tribunal. On October the 9th, 2018, G5 wrote, McCain was questioned by the military. He lived up to his code name of Songbird, but had nothing to offer beyond what was already known. He was subsequently executed under the Espionage Act by military tribunal by lethal injection, well hidden by the issues of his age and illness and chemotherapy. G5 called me an hour ago informing me that George H.W. Bush was also executed by military tribunal. His CIA code name was Timberwolf, derived from mongrel dog, and he's also known as Poppy for saving the poppy fields in Afghanistan. And I asked about his source, and he indicated it was direct from the original. He is going to write it up in more detail soon, but this is what he told me on the phone. George H.W. Bush was indicted August the 10th, 2018 on money laundering, uh, conspiring to violate the Logan Act, and human trafficking and RICO warrants. He pled guilty. The backup charges were his involvement in the assassination of JFK and Project Hammer. 9-11. This involved the estimated $240 billion covert, $240 billion, covert government securities that were to mature on uh, the 12th of September 2001. President Trump signed the execution order allegedly saying, God may have mercy on him, we will not. There was a plea bargain where the former president wanted to maintain his dignity and legacy. Trump withheld the release of the full JFK files naming George H.W. Bush, implicating the CIA and James Angleton. Um, Dove Zakim orchestrated 9-11. Uh, he was executed by chemical means in the hospital on the 30th of November 2018 based on his guilty plea. Both McCain and the former president were not to be buried in Arlington. He was buried on December the 5th. G5 mentioned that Senator Lindsey Graham, who used to be aligned with Senator McCain, was also indicted earlier but pardoned. He changed to support Trump. What was significant is that during the confirmation hearing of Brett Kavanaugh, he questioned Kavanaugh about military tribunals. Kavanaugh answered that they are constitutionally valid. And you can see this all over YouTube. Uh, there are reports leaking that Bush Sr. committed suicide over the possible release of JFK files, but G G5 says this is incorrect. There was much more to conversation with regard to Guantanamo Bay being vacant and being repurposed. Q Anonymous, uh, that Walmart prisons built by Obama have been taken over. Seth Rich was about to leak information about pedophiles and that the Department of Homeland Security will report on voter fraud on December the 21st, 2018. 
G5 said many other people are going to face justice, but only one will have a public trial, John Brennan, the anti-Trump American intelligence official who served as director of the CIA from March 2013 to January 2017, will have a public trial and will be hanged. Well, that's the conversation. Interesting times. Um, many people have been skeptical of this post, so G5 has called several times and wrote this below in an email. Um, I heard that some find it difficult to believe that McCain and George H.W. Bush were executed. As I told uh, Gumshoe News, the audience is specifically for deep state. Others don't understand it. They will suggest what is the point of killing a dying person. The point is they cannot escape by retiring, resigning, or living out. What they have done remains, and their families are also demonized. The audience is specifically for the deep state. The swift military tribunal and immediate execution avoids the bilious and endless criminal court circuses. No, it's not justice or denial of rights. If they did not do what is put down and can explain, fine. They don't need lawyers to craft responses or find blockages to the process. None of this is borderline. The military acts on overwhelming real evidence. They are not criminal jurisdiction. Deep State became terrified after they were made aware of McCain, now George H.W. Bush and others. Tony Podesta was executed not for pedophilia, but being involved in supplying and aiding enemy combatants. Good old stupid puppets, George W. Bush and Obama provided the tools now used by Trump. Public servants offering different views, truth, reality, facts, to official reports are fired. There was one this week, I can't remember the details of the event, whistleblowers are criminalized or commit suicide. Many flipped on their cohorts, including the Obama-pardoned Hillary Rodham Clinton. The military will find other activities outside the pardon or could interestingly deny the pardon. The uh, Supreme Court of the U.S. will uphold that decision if asked. After all, Obama was not constitutionally president at the time of say, a vacancy of the position. And former Vice President Joe Biden is a pedophile, but more importantly, has aided enemy combatants with John Kerry and their sons. I'm writing this up, including the attempt, attempted murder of Melania in Scotland recently, and who were taken out as a consequence. Trump has now agreed to the release of assassination teams. It's a process. They are acting now, I'm aware. Brennan, CIA director, saying Trump as president should be removed by force gets him hung. No discount, no misunderstanding, no sorry. One simple question. McCain delivering arms and funds to ISIS, Al-Qaeda, and Syria were declared enemy combatants of the U.S. at war from three days after 9-11, has him dead, no discounts. Nothing to say. Logan, Hatch, Rico, Patriot, FISA, etc. are only decorations. George H.W. Bush was indicted and Trump held the correct file on JFK. The plea deal of codename Timberwolf, the mongrel dog, was that he die with dignity and legacy. That was honored. 2019 will be an interesting year. The 30% of government occupied by deep state is shrinking. The century plus of what occurred about which I'm going to write with new material is interesting. So that's what I wanted to share today. It sounds like military tribunals are underway. You've been watching the giggling conservative, and I always remember that laughter is good medicine. <laughs>
your hand.